Greetings, my name is Odin from the Odin's Musings YouTube channel, and I'm here on behalf of Aura Crystals. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic bezel using Super Duo beads. Two whole beads such as Super Duos are a great way to create a bezel really quickly and uses a minimal effort to create a fantastic design where you want to showcase a large crystal bead. For this project you will need size 15 seed beads, 10 4mm beads. I'm using bicones here, but if you can feel free to switch off bead shapes as I've used 4mm pearls here. You will need 10 3mm bicones. Again, you can probably switch off bead shapes depending on what you want to do and what the look you want to create. You will need to check two whole Super Duo beads and an 18mm Rivoli or Cabochon. I'll give you a general guideline on how to work with smaller Rivolis later on. I'm using a D-weight white Nymo, but feel free to use anywhere from a 4 to a 6 pound test fire line. And I'm using a size 12 beading needle. Be sure to check down in the description box for a full materials list, as well as links to where you can purchase supplies. And with all that being said, let us get started. I'm going to start off by threading on an alternating pattern of a 3mm bicone and a Super Duo bead until I've used all of my 3mm bicones and ended up with a Super Duo. So in this case I have 10 bicones followed by 10 Super Duos, so it's bicone, Super Duo, and further on. Then I'm going to begin my anchor ring by passing through each one of these beads once more so that I form a loop. So I'm just going to pass back through all of these top beads. Now it's important to check before you've threaded on all of these super duos that both holes are not blocked. Some finishes will have plugged holes that you can either get out with a bead reamer or just leave aside for a project that doesn't require both holes. So I'm passing through all of my beads and starting to form a loop. Like so. I'm leaving a small tail so that I can work so that I can add knots and just end the thread later on. But what I'm going to do for now is take my tail end and my working thread and tie an overhand knot. So this is what our base ring will look like. My thread is currently in between a 3mm bicone and a Super Duo. So I am just going to pass through the bottom hole of the Super Duo. And then go immediately up through the top hole of that same Super Duo. This will change the direction of my thread. I'm going to then add one bicone bead and pass through the top hole of the next Super Duo over, closing the gap between the two beads. I'm going to repeat that, add one bicone, pass through the next Super Duo bead. You want to repeat that all the way around until you've completed the set and have no gaps left. And that is what you end up with. You'll have your thread coming out of a Super Duo bead. To start the next row, you're just going to pass through the next bicone bead, and we're going to start working the back side of our bezel. I'm going to add one size 15, one Super Duo, one size 15, and then jump over and pass through the next bicon on the round so that we have two Super Duo beads sitting on top of one another. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around until you've completed the set. Also take note and make sure that both holes of the Super Duo bead is unplugged. And that is what our bezel looks like so far. Currently my thread is coming out of a 4mm bicone. What I'm going to do is pass through the next size 15 seed bead and through the bottom hole of the Super Duo. Then to set up for our next row, I'm going to pass through the top hole of that same Super Duo and change the direction of my thread. I'm going to take my Rivoli and I'm going to flip it color side down so that it sits on top of the bezel there. I'm going to take my thumb and hold it in place while I do the next row. I'm going to add on one size 15, one Super Duo, one size 15, and pass through the top hole of the next Super Duo bead over, so that it sits in between those two. I'm going to do that all the way around until I've completed the set. Once more, add a 15, Super Duo 15, and repeat jumping over to the next Super Duo on the round. And that is what we end up with. Now we're going to want to cinch that last row closer to the Rivoli, so all we're going to do is reinforce it once more by passing through every single one of these beads, all of the Super Duos and all of the size 15s that are attached to this circle. So I'm just picking up the 15s and the Super Duos all along this path and pulling tight so that I cinch 
everything together. Like that. Next, I'm going to take all of the loose Super Duos, the ones that have the top hole still flailing around, and flip them towards the center just so that it's easier for me to know what beads I need to work with, and so that everything points nicely toward the center. My thread is currently coming out of a lower Super Duo. I want to pass through one size 15 and the bottom hole of the inner Super Duo. Then I'm going to change my thread again and pass through the top hole of that same Super Duo bead. Then I'm going to add two size 15s, jump over and pass through the top hole of the next Super Duo bead over. You're just going to repeat that, adding two size 15s and passing through the top hole of the next Super Duo all the way around. And then once you've finished that, you're going to reinforce it once or twice so that everything is nice and tight behind the bezel. So once you've reached the end of your bezel, you're just going to pass through some more beads and pass through all of the size 15s and the Super Duos to cinch the round together. And that's the back of our finished bezel, as well as the front. Now, you can leave this piece as it is if you intend to attach it to a larger piece, but you can turn it into a pendant just by adding a bale. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm currently coming out of the top hole of the innermost Super Duo. I'm just going to travel through going through the top hole of the same Super Duo, traveling through the size 15, and the bottom hole of the upper Super Duo here, then moving to the other hole of the same Super Duo. Then you can add anywhere from 8 to 10 seed beads, jump over, and pass through the next Super Duo across the way. So you have a loop over here, which you can attach a jump ring to and hang on a chain. Now you might want to reinforce it as well, so coming from this top hole, Super Duo, I'm just going to travel down through the bottom hole of the same Super Duo, and pass through until I'm at the Super Duo that I started from all the way down here. So I'll travel through the bottom hole, a size 15, a Super Duo top hole, size 15, bottom hole. Then I move back up through the top hole, from there, I can go all the way through all of these seed beads, through that top hole, and repeat if I want to reinforce it once more. Then once I'm finished with my threads, I'm going to put in half-hitch knots in order to secure the thread. So, my thread is coming out between these two beads here, the Super Duo and the first size 15, so all I'm going to do is go underneath until I have picked up the thread between those two beads, and I'm going to pull through until I've formed a loop with that thread. I'm going to pass my needle through that loop and pull tight. Then I'm going to travel up a few beads on the bale and repeat. Go underneath my thread bridge between those two seed beads, pull through until I form a loop, pass my needle through that loop, pull tight. Go through a few more seed beads, and add one more knot. Go through a few more beads, and from there I'm going to trim my thread. Then you can take the tail end and pass through any beads here, and add one more half hitch knot. The overhand knot on the top is really strong, so it doesn't need that much reinforcement. Now when you're doing this project with smaller Rivoli, such as a 16mm or a 14mm, you're going to need to make adjustments in order to make the bezel fit it. With a 16mm, you might start off by adding on sets of 8 or 9 3mm bicones and super duos all the way around instead of 10, like these two. For the 14mm, you might need 7 or 8. It all depends on the bead shapes you use, the brand you use, the width, and how tight you keep your thread tension. If you're also having problems in the back, having things cinched together, feel free to switch to size 11s instead of size 15s, or even add more size 15s. You may also not even need this second row of Super Duos, it's just going to take a little bit of experimentation to figure out how many beads you need for what. But that will do it for this Bezeled Rivoli project. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for joining me. This is a great way to start practicing with double-hold seed beads. This is a great way to start practice with glass bead shapes that have multiple holes, and you can even try to take what you've learned from this one and create a bezel using different bead shapes. 
Think of things like diamond and gem duos, crescent beads, and so forth. This is also a very super quick project that you can throw together during the holidays to make personalized gifts for friends and family, and uses a relatively small amount of supplies so you don't break the budget. Let us know what you thought of this design in the comments down below, and be sure to check out the description box below for the full materials list as well as links to where you can purchase supplies. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to Aura Crystals for updates on new projects and technique ideas. And if you'd like to see more of my work, feel free to check me out at Odin's Musings right here on YouTube or at odinsbeathall.com.